G'day and welcome back to Rider Risk. These new apps are for everyone who lives in New South Wales, rides a bike on the tar and is thinking about getting a bit dirty. Not quite like this, maybe more like this, but even better when you can adventure with your mates. Our state is an incredibly beautiful place, but to find the best of it, you've got to get off the highways and into the country, and that means getting off the bitumen. So no time like the present, let's begin. Moving from tar to a standard unsealed dirt or gravel road is a challenge, but nothing you can't do in most situations on any bike. I mean, you will have sphincter tightening moments when you start, and other times too, but as long as you follow these basic safety rules, you're gonna be heading the right direction. Don't rush it. This is a no-brainer. The speed you ride at is the speed you're comfortable with. This is all going to be new. You've got nothing to prove. Don't be pressured into going hard by your mates. Riding safely and well is all about reading and managing the environment. Think ahead and stay left. Approach every blind corner expecting a car to come round it. Loosen up. Trust yourself and trust your bike. Ride with a smile under that helmet and stay relaxed. Attitude matters. Yes, your bike will move about way more than on bitumen and that takes time to get used to, but you will. The bars are gonna have far more vibration and twitching. That's normal. The steering will self-correct if you relax and let it. Being tense and trying to constantly muscle the bike around will actually lessen your control and tire you out. So loosen up and be positive. You're gonna be okay. Spread the group out. This is not the time for tailgating and riding in a dust cloud is basically shit riding. So just give yourself space. If you're holding someone else up, let them pass. Just focus on the road and let the yahoos wait for you at the next corner. Where you look is where you go. This is a universal truth, tar or dirt. Of course there's plenty more potential issues with the dirt road, and you've got to keep your eyes open. Just focus again on where you want to go. Don't look at the potholes, look at the path you'll take around them before you get there. Riding on dirt requires constantly scanning the path ahead, as far as you can see, the middle distance and right in front of you. With time and practice, you'll be dodging potholes like a Jedi. Practice your emergency stops. Just like on the tar, the front brake is still your best go-to brake, but in an emergency, use both. As ever, understanding is down to practice. Find a level dirt road, get up to say 30 kilometers an hour, then hit the brakes. Try it with the rear alone, the front, then both together. Get an idea of how fast you can stop your bike. Dirt is naturally more slippy and that's okay. Just brake as hard as you dare and get comfortable with a bit of skid. You will pucker up at first. That's okay too. Now we also want to talk about ABS here. Some anti-lock brakes can get quite confused on dirt roads when you start pushing them, especially on older bikes. If your bike has an off-road ABS setting, then try it. Otherwise, if you have the ability to turn it off, we'd recommend trying out some emergency braking both with and without ABS to see what works best for you. Picking up your bike. Finally, if you haven't already had to do this, it's certain at some point you're gonna drop your bike. There's quite a few techniques to practice and you should watch the links we've collected to see which one works for you. If you've got makes around, an extra hand always helps. Just don't put your back out. Okay, that's it for the episode. Follow the links below and when you're done, come join us again for episode two, Staying Dirty.